So over the past 17 years, I have taught a lot of new guitar students, ranging from people who have never played a single note before to people who just want to try and brush up on their technique. And what I find is that there are a lot of common kind of mistakes people are making. And I want to make a video all about that. So without further ado, let's get stuck straight in. My name is Billy from Piano and Pies, and this is five mistakes that beginner guitar players make. Tip number one, feet and body positioning. Now this sounds like a bit of a strange one to begin with, but I see lots of beginners make a mistake where their feet are in the wrong position. Now, if you've got your feet nice and flat, like I have here, your guitar tends to stay nice and straight on your lap. However, sometimes if you have your legs out, maybe if you have them kind of really wide, guitars can easily slip. So having them nice and straight, kind of nice and uh, bent in like this, that can help keep guitar on your lap. What can also help is one of these. This is a footstool and um, I got mine on Amazon, pretty cheap. It was like a, maybe a tenner, but have a look around, see if you can find one. But if you're a right-handed guitarist, you can prop your foot up on it and the guitar stays even more in position, especially if you have kind of, uh, kind of shiny, slippery uh, material for your trousers uh, that can slip a bit more with your pedal, uh, with your foot still, should I say? Not so much, it kind of just keeps it nice and propped up. If you're a left-handed guitarist, use your left foot. Tip number two, guitar positioning. So your guitar positioning is really important when you come to play the guitar. Ideally, your guitar for a beginner wants to be nice and level. Don't let the neck of the guitar go up or sometimes go down. We want to keep it nice and level. Equally, your guitar might slip forward. Um, that could be with the previous tip where your feet aren't in the best position. However, some people like to have the guitar like this to try and see the frets that they're playing. It's not a great idea because this hand then finds it really hard to bend and to get the right frets. And sometimes you'll get the muted sound or a, a sound that we don't want. So keep your guitar nice and upright like this without it being angled in that way or that way. And that means you can get a nice sound easier. The next mistake I see people make is keeping their fingers too far away from the fretboard when they're playing the guitar. For example, take this version, the simple version of Smoke on the Water. I've seen students make that mistake where their fingers are really far away. So when they play a note, the finger comes out, they'll bring another finger in, then back out, and it looks really awkward and it is awkward to play. When you're playing the guitar, you want to try and keep your fingers largely close to the strings. It can help us not only play faster, it can help us get clearer notes and it's actually just easier to play. It's less effort. You're not having to do as much action with your fingers. And there's a really good example from Justin Guitar. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but he's got a really good exercise that he uses. And what he does, he says to play just on one string, let's say the E string, you're going to play frets one, two, three, and four, using fingers one, two, three, and four. You're going to play slowly, and you're going to put your fingers really close to the string, play the note, whilst all these other fingers stay really close as well. Then when you go to play fret two, when you release finger one, don't let it come out over here. It'll want to go over there, but keep it really close. Then when you release finger number two, keep it close for number three to play. And then same with number four. It's not a speed challenge. It's an exercise to keep your fingers close to the strings and to keep you as disciplined as possible. So I just want to say thank you to the people on the screen to my side here. Those are my patrons. And if you decide to be a patron of mine, not only do you get access to lots of extra content like chord charts of previous videos that I've made, but you also get your name on the screen which is really nice. And for this video, you're going to get a list and a tab version of every major and minor scale known to mankind for the guitar. Um, it's a PDF file, so it's just a one-click download and you can head on over to my Patreon. There's a link in the description and you can access it there. Anyway, back to the video. Tip number four, music being too far away. So for those of you that read music or you're following chord charts or anything like that where you're using a tablet or a bit of paper, then having your music in a way that's really close to you and really accessible is super important. So as a beginner, more than likely you're still getting used to working out the strings and the positioning and how to move your hands on the guitar. The last thing that you want is for music to be really far away somewhere and for you to have to look over and think, oh, that's that note, where's it on the guitar? 
moving your head back and forth like this is really, really difficult in terms of keeping everything nice and smooth and, and accuracy. What you want is your guitar music to be really close to you. So I've got my stand here, I've got my sheet music right in front of me. I'm going to position it so I'm really close to it so I can see everything. But also, I'm facing it directly. I'm not angled like this, so I have to do big head movements to see what I'm doing. I'm just facing it and I can play through everything I need. Tip number five, looking at one hand more than the other. So eventually when you become really, really good at playing guitar, after a long time of practice, you won't need to look at your hands as much. You'll know the feel of where the frets are and where the strings are. However, early days, you're going to be staring at your hands quite a lot. However, a mistake that I see beginners make is that they will focus their attention on one hand more than the other. And when they start making mistakes, they won't realize which hand has gone wrong. So when you're playing, quite simply, let's say you're playing a scale or something that changes strings a lot, keep your head moving between the strings when you're playing. Try not to just focus on one hand because one hand could aim for the wrong string. And when you think, oh, that doesn't sound right, you're trying to figure it out and then you've missed the beat. Or maybe if you're playing along with a song or with another musician, yeah, you're falling behind. So always keep looking at your hands. Don't prioritize one other than the other. So those are the five mistakes that beginner guitar players make that I see on a regular basis. Now, if you liked that video, if you found it useful, feel free to like and subscribe. It really um, helps me out with the channel. Uh, if you'd like to show your support more, like I mentioned earlier, you can head on over to Patreon and uh, you can show your support that way. I also have the PDF of every major and minor scale available that you can download. Um, it's just one click and then you can get it. Anyway, without rambling on too much, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.